Okay, in this tutorial I'll show you the different ways that I add colors to an object or colors to different faces of an object. And there's various ways, some are simpler than others. So I'll just get rid of these just for a second. Just start with this single one here. So I have this basic green color in here. I'll duplicate the object first. And what I do, it turns this into a number two. It tells me there's two copies of it. So if I change the color, it's going to change the color of both of them. So I'm going to press the two, click the two to make it an individual color. Then I go into the green, and notice I have it set to HSV at the moment. All right, by default it's set to RGB colors right here for changing the red, green, and blue values. So we're going to change them in all directions. So a lot of times you can ch change the slider like this to change the color, or you could grab the color and move it around here to get what you want. Sometimes I just prefer to use numbers, like if I want orange, I'll just come in here and put in, th since we're working from 0 to 1 within this space, I'll type in 1 for yellow and 0.5 for green, and that gives me an orange color, like this. So, uh, but in hex, let's take a look at hex, notice right in here, if you're familiar with my lessons on binary and hexadecimal numbers, there's FF, so that's the same as 255, and there's BC, which is the same as, well I don't know BC right off the top of my head, but it's going to be like 127, 128, so of course remember we can go into here and just type int 0xBC, there it is, it's int 0xBC shows up as 188, and then that's surprising. No wonder that doesn't look quite right. BC 188 for green. Yet I set set that at 0.5. So I was thinking that should be halfway to 255. So what I'd really prefer to do is come down here and type hex 128 and it's hex 80. So then in here, under the hex value, let's type FF 8000. There's the orange I was looking for. I knew that didn't seem quite right. So that's really a good lesson to know that that even threw me right there was RGB. I'm thinking that, you know, you would enter in the numbers as 0.5 since this... Normally, RGB numbers enter between 0 and 255 if you've seen my other tutorials. So they run it between 0 and 1. So I'm going to have to go evaluate that a little bit more. Normally, I don't know, enter in the numerics here. I'll enter them in hexadecimal values like this. Well, another way to do things is like, I'll do like Shift D X, copy this over here like this, and maybe I want shades of this orange. And so then the best way to work is in HSV mode, hue, saturation, and value. And then you just drop the saturation for each one. Let me make it its own separate object first. So there we go. Just by dropping the saturation, it keeps the same hue, so it's the same color, but you have a different it's lighter in value. So that's the simpler way to do that. So this is my preferred method working in hex for entering numeric values because it's easy to use the Python expressions to convert them to a value between 0 and 255 if you're familiar with using RGB values like that. And then, or otherwise, if it defaults to RGB mode, I'm usually, I don't enter things numerically here. I tend to just enter them visually like that. I get the color and then I can change it down here like this as well. Okay, well that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.